A new rail service is one step closer to connecting the South Coast to Boston. Two, three. This morning, Governor Charlie Baker and other officials held a ribbon cutting at the new MBTA station in Freetown. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joining us now live in studio. And Alex, officials say this is really decades in the making. Yeah, Governor Baker said that he remembered being in discussions in the 1990s when he worked for former Governor Bill Weld. And while today's event signaled major progress, it will still be a little while before commuters can take advantage. Governor Charlie Baker and other state leaders symbolically rode a short distance into the new Freetown train station on this new rail car. The signal connection to Boston isn't ready just yet, but Governor Baker said he appreciated the patience thus far. And I especially appreciate your advocacy and your perseverance and your commitment to this project. Baker said the new Freetown station marks a monumental moment. To get service to the only two major municipalities within 50 miles of Boston that didn't have it. I think about this as more than a rail project. This is about equity and opportunity. Voters in New Bedford and Fall River just approved a ballot question for the cities to join the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority. The Fall River branch has a $159 million price tag. This winter, the $400 million New Bedford branch is also still being worked on. I am really looking forward to being able to come back here as a private citizen at some point in 2023 and be able to hop on that train um, and see the fulfillment of what I know for many of you has been three and four decades worth of advocacy. Officials have told us the South Coast Rail Project is both on budget and on time with targeting late 2023 for commuters to take part. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.